What is going on guys? It's Wrath here, and we are back with our third installment of my Monster Hunter Let's Play. Um, where we last left off, we had completed a few quests. And let's go and see what we did. Um, so, on our last episode, we did the mushrooms, presented for the armor, helped for the festival, and now we're gonna go on and get that wyvern egg. Um, I did a little bit of mining in the last episode, and we have exactly enough to upgrade our hunter dagger to a hunter dagger plus, and get that green shark mist like we've been talking about. And I think that's a good idea. So, let's go and see if we can sell a few things. Uh, we have a good bit of Velocifray stuff, so, um, I don't think we need the hide for any of the armor, so we're just gonna sell all of that. And then we can sell, um... I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's sell like seven of these small monster bones. And then, yeah, we can sell a bunch of things. I don't think we need that for anything either. We'll keep those Kelby hides just in case we need that for anything later. Uh, and we're gonna take a, two of our wardens. <gasps> uh, we sold them. Oops. Ah, uh, I can make more. I'm not even worried about it. And we actually have a lot of Velocibray stuff in our inventory because I did a good bit of uh, farming that mission just for some monies. Some antidote herbs, some... We just had a bunch of stuff in there. Oh my god, 39? Yeah, I got plenty. Uh, and let's just fix that and then take out all of our earth crystals. Uh, I think that should be everything. Alright, now let's go. In the last episode, my voice would cut out here and there, and I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm pretty sure it was the uh, voice recording software I was using. It's called Voice Meter. Uh, I never had any problems with it before, but every time I would stop talking, it would like cut. Uh, I don't know why that was, but um, I completely like took that off. I'm not using Voice Meter anymore. I'm just using the Blue Snowball from here on out until I get a Blue Yeti, um, and then you know we'll move on from there. But I think this blue snowball sounds fine for, you know, this kind of commentary. So anyways, uh, looking at the Hunter's Dagger, we're going to go from 140 to 168 with a 28 damage increase and get some green sharpness. Go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at it. It still looks the same as it did before. Um, oh yeah, I got some gloves. I bought them and then I bought some pants. So I'm not completely naked. I don't know if you saw that. I um, mean, you can just buy them right here. I didn't, you know, do anything crazy. Um, leather, where is it? Yeah, leather belt, and then the blue pants were like 700 bucks. I think I got the green ones, actually. And let's see where we take this weapon next. Uh, Assassin's Dagger. And then we get a huge bunch of green. And then, um... A little bit of... What is it? It goes from 168 to 196, so that's a 28 damage increase almost 30 damage increase and that's a lot of green sharpness all right so we've done that now let's move on to um doing our wyvern and we have just enough to complete the quest let's go ahead and go out Yeah, so today was a pretty long day. I just got off of work and, uh, oh, get a flash bomb. Yeah, I just got off of work and I try to record these as soon as I get home because if I don't, I'll just wait around all day. Um, and what I do is I record the day before and then post the morning after. Um, if that makes any sense. Because of the way I've scheduled it so far, um, it's been pretty much, uh, like a daily episode. And that's what I want to keep it at. I don't want to post more than one episode a day. Like, I posted one video this morning. And, um... That was just uploading it. But you won't see this video until tomorrow. Which sucks for you, but I mean, it, it works out for me. Because, like, I get to post something every single day. And I, you know, I didn't think I was going to be the type of person to ever upload like that, you know. But, hey. I'm having fun with this series, so doesn't even feel like something I have to do. I'm just having fun with it. 
Yeah, and weapon sharpness decreasing. That won't. That would be a thing of the past once we um upgrade into the assassin's dagger. Another one spawned. I don't think they spawn eternally here in two, um, but on some quests, they uh, some gathering quests like this, that they'll spawn pretty much over and over, and like you can't get rid of them. But this is only a, a single egg mission, so it shouldn't be too hard. We'll actually probably be able to do the urgent in this mission in this video too, just because it's a single egg. Uh, now, if it was three or four eggs, we probably uh, definitely wouldn't be able to do both, but because it's just one. And I waited to get here to take my rations just because I didn't want to waste any stamina. And there's the Rathalos. Um, we can watch this cutscene together, actually. Okay. Well, I'm just going to chill here. Let's see. Recovering from an injury. We're intact. Let's see if the monster notices you on the radar. You will appear on the left side of the screen. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff I already know. Let's just collect these herbs wise. Oh, you see, that? that's how you know he saw me. Because he got that little icon above his head. And now he really saw me. And then you, you fear. I don't know why you fear like that when you see him. He's just playing fireballs. Hopefully he won't. Oh, he's gonna run at me. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would do. Heh, <laughs> nerd. And this is their den. Dun dun dun! And the eggs are up there. A lot of them are ash, even though there's no such thing as baby monsters in this game. And actually, this is the only place in the forest and hills where you can mine for Macalidor. And it's right here in this spot, right here. First aid med kits. Let's see if we have our iron pickaxe. We do. Maybe we can get at least one or two Macalidor. Earth crystal. Iron ore. Which we need those anyways to upgrade to the assassin's dagger. Usually you can hop down from area 5 to area 6, but, um, and okay, Rathalos is here now. But it takes him a minute to, um, get down here. I think he just ran to area 6. And you run extremely slow with an egg. And if you drop it, you gotta run all the way back. And I'm not sure that I know how to cut <laughs> cut it if um if I fall and drop it. You can't run off ledges with the egg. You can't get hit with anything. Uh, if you get hit or fall too hard, you will drop the egg and you will die. If you run out of stamina, you will huddle over and drop the egg and die. Well, you won't die, but the egg will die. And Rathalos is here, which is good. Uh, I think he chases you all the way to Area 3. It's good that he's here now because, it, you know, it takes him a while to get in the area. I think he's actually going to 3. Because we got a little icon. Yep. He's here. But lucky for us, he spawns at the other end of the area. And it takes him a minute to fly down. I can hear his wings flapping still. So we should be fine. Yep, we made it out. Hopefully these Velociprey aren't here. And they aren't. And this is a pretty easy mission. Now sometimes he'll actually follow you all the way area 2. Uh, he's done it to me before. Um, I think there's an egg carrying mission. You have to actually bring back 
three eggs. Um, so that's going to be probably our longest video. Yep, you see he follows you all the way here too. Um, maybe I can turn around and get, get you guys a, uh, like a little visual of him in the background. I, I really, yeah, I'm not going to do that in case I ever lost that best boy tries to get me. But there he is right there. And we're home free essentially at this point. It's it's impossible to mess up. He can't come into area one, uh, thankfully. So this is a pretty quick mission. As long as you don't upset these Epsaros, which they're non-hostile unless you attack them. Um, now I've actually rolled in this area and dropped it before, and that is no fun at all. So I'm not pressing any other buttons besides the one that I have to use to turn in the egg, um, because I definitely do not want to end up having to do that all over again. That would totally suck. But these egg missions aren't too bad unless you're in the uh, the desert. I remember when I was a little kid and doing the desert egg mission was like, oh my god, I I could never do it. It took me so long to complete that mission. I don't know why. I think it was because the, the Gempre, I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're like the Velocipre of the desert and they can stun you uh, like the Vespoid stuns you uh, the same way essentially. And um, they just keep respawning. And then there's Cephalos on the ground, and you'll see those um, later also when we um, have to go to the desert to kill those things too. But I think we're actually going to be able to do our urgent quest now. Uh, and then I think it's going to be a shorter video today, and so we'll complete the urgent quest and then we'll, we'll call it a day. I'll probably record this second video um, also. Let's see what we get. Three Kutku scales? Are you serious? Dude, that's so awesome. And we're definitely not making the Kutku armor. It's, it's really not that good. Um, but those scales give us a lot of money. I think it's like 350 each. So we might just uh, do this mission a few times off screen just to get some more money because that, that's pretty good. Chunk of change. Oh, the 250 each. Not as cool. But still. And let's see how many things we have. Uh, oh, we need uh, three more earth crystal. Cool. And now we have our urgent crest. The formidable Velocidrome. So you've seen us kill the Velocipray, but we haven't killed a Velocidrome. Now we don't need the Assassin's Dagger to kill a Velocidrome. Uh, we can pretty much just go and do this. Uh, we're pretty much decked out at this point uh, for where we need to be. Uh, I don't want to be too overpowered for doing these missions. Uh, I want to at least do it in a manner where I would feel there's at least some difficulty. Obviously, I'm not going to do it with like a base weapon, but uh, we'll get this large barrel too and take it back home. Um, another thing I used to do when I was younger, I would do this mission just to get the four um, flash bombs, and I would kill the Velocidrome uh, pretty quickly, and then I would just uh, use it as a way to farm flash bombs without having to. Um, Without having to go collect the flash bugs and all that. So if you're uh, ever playing this game, that's a, definitely a, a good tip. I'm pretty sure the Velocidrome spawns in area 2 or 3. So we're going to take these rations before we go. But this this guy is just kind of like getting you used to fighting boss monsters. It's kind of your handheld guide. To uh, I don't even know if there's a cutscene for him to be honest. Unless he's in Area 10. I think there might be an Area 10 cutscene for him. It's been so long. But yeah, he shouldn't present too much trouble for us. He's just a little bit larger than these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a is it, is it No? Yes. Yes or no? I don't know. Hard to remember. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say that he's in Area 10. That's my money. Ah, oh, I'm so smart. I know everything. And yeah, he doesn't look much different. His talent is just a little bit larger, and that's it. And his claws, which are talons. His crest is larger, and so are his talons. That's what I meant.
And the camera's hard, but... It doesn't do that much damage to you. A lot of it is just dealing with him while fighting these Velociprey, which is annoying, but... And if you can get your jumping attacks in, then... But you see how little damage he's doing. He actually just knocked, got knocked back by one of his minions. Now, camera angling is a big part of this. But once you master the camera... Pretty much a cakewalk from there. And he's leaving now. So we'll follow him out of here. And I don't think we need to use any flash bombs on him. He's pretty much... Dead. And he's gonna call for his minions before he does anything. And so we can get away with... Now I don't want to kill him right at the exit. I don't even know how low he is, but I really just don't want to risk it. Yep, and there you go. <laughs> really wasn't too much of a threat. As long as you're good with the camera, and you take your time and get your full combos off, pretty much a simple task. Now these are Velocidrome Claws are definitely good for creating weapons later in the game. Um, we're definitely going to create the weapon that that uses the claws. Um, we'll probably use it in a few missions, but it, it, we're definitely going to stick with this, the SNS for this guide. Um, simply because I love the Poison Battle Axe. And um, you, you probably don't know what that is if you've never played any of the Monster Hunter games. Um, and if you've played any of the later ones, you, you would know of it, but you know you wouldn't know of the Monster Hunter 1 version. Um, it's, it's really good. And that's, that's all I'll say on that topic. It's, it's pretty fantastic. Um, I think we have time for at least one more mission. Um, so once we get back to town, we will check what we got to do. And we're going to find something else to do. Even if it's just mining. Which is important. Let's see what we get. I probably should get some screamers. Oh, we only got one screamer. We got some philosopher hides. No claws, though. But we got two claws from carves, so it's all good. And we get a good bit of money from that. So if we want to, we could actually upgrade to the assassin's dagger. Um, before we fight the next boss. Maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's a good plan. We will slay the Velociprey. Oh, there's the Kukku. Yeah, now we gotta deliver two Wyvern eggs. And more mushrooms. Ten special mushrooms. This time in the jungle. So, we'll slay the Velociprey in the forest and hills. And while we're doing that, we will get our mine on. Alright, let's do it. Now, in the later games, um, there's this thing called key quests. Um, and that essentially lets you pick and choose which quests you complete. Um, which I think is kind of bogus, um, that you don't have to complete every quest, but, it, but, you know, not everybody wants to get the full experience of the game, so, but in Monster Hunter 1, you have to complete every single quest, which I think is the way it should be. If the quest is in the game, you should complete it. I mean, it's pretty much common sense to me. 
And I really don't need anything from these Velociprey, so we aren't even going to carve them. And then we have to climb all the way up here to get this last straggler. I was hoping I could hit him through that, but... Nice. Nice. Three down. Hopefully we can get these last few earth crystals and, and call it. No Velocipray in area 10. Surprising. Now... I was expecting us to get at least one Macalite ore from the area 5 last time, but I guess not. Um, that's the only place you can get it from here. Um, once we unlock the Volcano Zone, though, you, it's a pretty common item. Uh, we'll, we'll actually keep the disc going because um, those sell for like 60 zenny. And what do we get? A uh, stone. Nice. And there's nothing else there. I'd say worth it. I know you noticed how I didn't have to recover from that fall. I actually landed on a weird spot and it didn't make me recover. It's the little things that count, man. Let's take these rations. I just take one. I'm not going to do the whole animation. That, that will get you killed so many times. I swear to God. We'll kill these guys here. Ow. Oh, there's four here. Cool. So that means we're only going to need to kill three more after we kill these last guys. If my math is right. Which it usually is. Cool. Last one. And I miss. Looks kind of like a sickle more than a dagger, doesn't it? I'm going to look at it really quick. Sickle shaped. It's like a C. Weird. I don't know if there's any in 4, but they're probably in like 5 or 6. They're usually in 5, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, none here. This is pretty simple quest uh, it gives you a good bit of money I think it's like 300 yeah 300 and lets you mine in all the areas which is you know the whole reason I chose to do this one yeah they're here we'll actually mine before we kill them and I know it's like contradictive but I don't want to have to kill them and then like fight for time to get all the minings out of this area and then the ones in 6 too because you get a whole minute so I might as well uh, mine all of this and then kill them and then let's go to 6 and mine there some more iron ore maybe I'll get a macalite anything? earth crystal cool I only need 2 more now he has like bit him in midair Ah, oh, this is torture. Torture! Whetstone. You know what? We could probably just kill two of them. Ah! Uh. Oh, there's a Macaulay ore. Drop the map. I think we can do it in a minute. Nothing else. Okay, go, 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 go. I believe in us. Totally have faith. We've got like 30 seconds, I think, at this point. Nice. Good roll. I think we gotta jump down like right here. 
And it's like right here. Yes. We did it, I think. This stone. Stone, no. How much time? 17 seconds. I think we have time. Nine seconds, seven seconds, five seconds. I don't think we're gonna get anything. Last one, give me the earth crystal. Dish stone, ah, we're one short. No. Ah, man, that sucks. really disappointed maybe we got them all maybe I just was counting wrong we will see <sighs> sadness all right guys well honestly we didn't even have enough money even if we did um, have enough actually we have enough money now so should probably shut up but next time in the next video we will upgrade our regular sword into the assassin's dagger and then we will take on the yayan kutku and that's probably all we'll do in that video because it's kind of like a a long quest so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope the audio was a little bit better this time. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment what you thought because that, you know, helps me. It gets me some exposure. And the more people that watch this, the better I feel about doing this. I just want to provide this to as many people as I can because this is, you know, a great game and one of my favorites. And, yeah, guys. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. It's been Wrath. Later.